Hi guys, all right. Uh, we're gonna do a little ammonite bile farming here down on the island. I haven't seen uh, too many videos on this, uh, at least none that really explain how to go about doing it in a uh, safe and efficient manner, enough to get a reasonable amount of bile. So we're gonna turn our game up a bit here because uh, it's kind of dark. Um, we brought with us a basil for the electric eels and uh, jellyfish because they are immune to the knockoff effects from those. And we also brought four high level mosasaurs with ascended saddles. Probably a little bit of overkill, but we wanted to be safe. So, uh, came in here, we put uh, beds also on the uh, mosasaur platform saddles just to be safe. Here we go, the eels are starting on the uh, basil there, going in first. Um, so in case someone did die, we had uh, extra scuba tanks, flippers, masks, whatnot on the mozas. And then um, the beds, obviously, so you can respawn in, which a lot of them got destroyed by the end. Uh, all right, so here you got to take out the eels. They'll shoot their electric... Uh, charges in between each other and if you're in the middle you'll get stunned but all you gotta do is just kinda swim out of the fray wait until your Moses starts attacking again make sure they're all neutral when you go in uh, that way they can fight stuff on their own if you're not on them then hop back on when you can so there's pretty much everything nasty in the water here and uh, lots of it and um, just to make it even more fun there is no level cap on the things down here so you can see stuff that's uh, I think the highest we saw was up in the 280 range so just kind of go slow uh, with your crew. I definitely recommend bringing some more people. Um, the basil is really nice to kind of go in ahead uh, or just to kind of back everybody up in case everyone gets knocked off their uh, mounts. Um, high level things obviously are important and the saddles help a lot. So the cave isn't too long. It takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get through completely. Um, once you're at the end, you know, you can hang out for a bit and then turn around and come back. Hopefully you'll find some on the way there and more on the way back. All right, so up here we have, uh, you know, just more manta rays. Again, no level cap. Here's a Moza. We're going to fight him for a little bit. Uh, and then shortly after, you'll see some little tentacles sticking out of the wall. And that's what we're actually after. All right here, we've got a pause for you. There's the tentacles on the right hand side of the screen there. Those are the ammonites. That's what you're looking for. A lot of times they are up against the walls and stuff. All right, so we finished off all the beasties. We're going to eat the ammonites over here. Keep an eye out for this green cloud that they spit out. That's what gives you the debuff down there on the bottom of the screen, which lasts a good chunk of time. Definitely enough time to have some fun with at least. Uh, the ammonite bile lasts for three hours. It does not matter if it's in your inventory, fridge, fabricator, wherever. It doesn't matter. Uh, it stacks up to 50, so keep that in mind. Another thing you find on this map is the Artifact of Cunning, which is behind this little blue pillar back here off to the side. There's a ton of the leads down. Mosasaurs fit down there, but uh, the basils are probably a little bit better just because there are electric eels down there. Alright, so this is the end of the cave. You see this little lava spot on the ground and a big open cave area above you with some bats and stuff. Um, we like to hang out back here for just a few minutes. Uh, see if we can let everything kind of respawn behind us. Uh, check your scuba tanks. Put some levels into melee damage if you don't already have enough. Stuff like that. Yeah, we're going to start heading back now. Just keep an eye out again for the tentacles on the ground off to the sides or tribe mates up ahead they look like they're about to get hit by an eel yep there he is luckily I'm here to save them the eels and the jellyfish are pretty aggressive in here and they can sneak up on you a bit so that's why you want to bring extra people I guess here's a jellyfish getting me unfortunately when this guy got me I didn't have any t tribe mates to back me up they were all down below there I had to handle business on my own. It's not my first rodeo though. All 
And if you are lucky enough to survive the cave and get some ammonite bile out of there, you'll be able to go make some pheromone darts if you're level 95 or know someone that is level 95. Uh, the darts, keep in mind, only last two hours after you make them. And those also do not last any longer in the fridge or preserving bins or anything. But if you get all of it together, you go have some fun. And you can do stuff like this. Enjoy. <laughs> he ran in the face. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>